The Riverside Solar Project, coming at the cost of over 1.5 million US dollars, is meant to boost energy production in Kitwe. The idea for this project was mounted at a time when Zambia was facing a huge power deficit. This was in a bid to boost power generation. The project, the first of its kind in this part of the country, sit just next to the Copper Belt University, producing about 1.9 megawatts of power monthly. Built by CEC in partnership with CBU, the utility wants to actively participate in power generation as it diversifies operations. Journalists drawn from both public and private media toward the solar project. Hilton Fulefule is CEC solar development engineer. So what we do is every 23 panels, we connect those in series, back to back, back to back, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative to achieve the voltage that we want. Earlier, during a presentation to the media on Zambia's electricity tariff, Northwestern Energy Chief Executive Officer Andrew Kamanga called for a favorable and transparent tariff plan to attract investment in the sector. I think the onus is on government to restructure the market so that we are all clear. Generation is doing very well. We've got more private uh, investors in there. But we need more on the distribution side. But in both uh, generation and distribution, the driver for the investment will be the tariff. Later, the Intuarich also visited Luano substation in Chingola at the heart of operations for CEC. So CEC owns these gas turbines in order to supply emergency loads to our customers who have underground mining. Mshota Mpundu, ZNBC News on the Copper Belt.